PeteTools.com. So guys, doing a bit of welding the other day, and I thought to myself, this welder seems to be acting a bit crappy, you know what I mean? Now nah, you're just getting old, Pete, it must be your imagination. But then I figured out why. Anyway guys, same as usual, you like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day at PeteTools.com if you want. And uh, I'll show you what I found, guys. So I'm doing a bit of welding the other day, guys, and I thought, nah, this, this welder's crappy, what the hell's it doing? Then I noticed there's a bit of smoke sort of coming out of here. So I had actually had a look, this is where you change from positive electrode to negative electrode. You know, if you're going to do um, gasless welding, or flux core welding, or whatever you want to call it. Um, so I had a look here, and look at this. Can you see that, guys? Look at that. That plug there is absolutely destroyed, and it's pitted, and it's done all sorts of horrible stuff. And why it's done that is because the actual socket that it fits in here is actually burnt right out. You have a look. See if I can zoom in a bit for you, and you can actually see. Can you see in this socket here guys, it's actually burnt right out, it's burnt the crap out of it and it won't even lock in anymore. See there's the plug there, so we'll try and lock it in. So if we try and lock it in guys, look what happens. It just, it won't lock. And it's as loose as, see that? See that? It's it's in there, sort of, but it's not. It's loose, and why it's loose, guys, is because the cam in here is all burnt out. So what we're going to have to do to fix it, guys, is to replace the socket. So I've, I've got a whole box of them, as you've probably seen from previous videos. Check in the links below. I've got all sorts of videos about these sockets and plugs and that. But what we're going to have to do is replace this, because there's no point if you don't get a, well, it depends whether you're positive or negative electrode, but if you can't get a good earth, then you're wasting your time. You might as well just turn your welder off. Anyway guys, so that's what we're doing today. So if we have a look on the back of this thing here guys, it's actually very, very simple. There's our plug here. It's just got a big lead on it with a, with a bolt. So if we just undo that, take that lead off there, we should just be able to swap it over and Bob's your wombat, we should be welding again. Well, let's hope so anyway. So we'll just well, make sure you welders unplug guys because the last thing you want to do is fry yourself because it wouldn't really be a good look would it i could think of better things to do on a tuesday Rightio, so hopefully we can just unscrew that now but i've got two bigger bloody hands and two smaller space guys and i'll show you what we're left with there's a big bolt in here a bolt and a nut so we'll pull them out like that there we go See guys, we've just got a, a bolt with a washer on it. And then we've got our big lead here. Can you see the, the big lead, which is a heavy lead that goes on the plug. And then we've got the socket itself. So we have to get the socket out. We've got a special socket tool. And <laughs> no, that's not, I just found it at the dump. And it actually fits, so that's all cool. Well, it's supposed to fit. All right. So he's coming out of there. Just be careful with these little wires here, guys. If you're anything like my machine, there's little freaking wires everywhere, so just make sure you don't knock them off or break them or do something stupid like I tend to do. Anyway, guys, we'll pull them out of here, and I'll show you how buggered he is. And you can see, guys, let's get that out of there. You can see, guys, this has got a back sort of stop holder on it. Just got a nut and a sort of a, a washer thing on this. If you ever look at that, guys, you can see that's completely burned out. See that? It's just twiddling around in here. Goes around almost three quarters of the way, see that? It won't lock in, it won't lock into the cam. So we've got to replace this sucker, guys. Can you see how badly burnt out that is, guys? It's quite amazing, really. You can see here, too, that it's burnt along here. It's been arcing out for some time, I wonder why. Anyway, we shall find out. So here's my new one guys, exactly the same as the old one I think, it's just that it doesn't look that bad. So we'll stick him in and see what happens, eh? Hee <laughs> hee! So we'll just take the nut off it, and the washer, and then we'll undo him, and then we'll just put the whole thing in backwards. Right. Should be easy, Pete. <laughs> yeah, I've said that before, guys. Oh, 
There you go, guys. I tried to put it in, and it didn't realise it's got a tit on it up the top here. So make sure the tit up the top here goes in the tit in the in your frame. Otherwise, it ain't going to work. Yep. Once again, guys, the backstop's got a tit on it as well, so it's got to be in the same place, obviously. You can hear it click. Now you need to put this grabby washer thing on first. And then this big securing nut. Oh, I've got that started. Wind them up, Pete. Do them up with your fan dangle tool. <laughs> All right, it's tight enough, I think, guys. Right, now we want our bolt. The big lead goes in the back of it, of course. Put the bolt through it without dropping the nut and all sorts of crap everywhere. Do them up. And we should be cooking with gas, guys. Beautiful. Let's have a look around the front. So there we go, guys. Nice new fitting in there. Looks awesome compared to this one anyway. See, you can also see it's how it's heated up around here. It's sort of all burnt. Uh, I wonder what caused that. I think it's the vibration. Because I think these actually vibrate in there when you're welding. Anyway, we'll see if it works now, guys. See if we can lock them in there. Look at that. Beautiful, Pete. Beautiful. Lock them in like that. No more wobbles. Beautiful. And then we can swap them over and do whatever we want with them. So there you go. So, guys, if you've noticed that your welder's performance has all of a sudden dropped to shit, well, it might just be as simple as something like that, eh? Because I didn't really notice it until I seen smoke coming out of it. Anyway, guys, same as usual. If you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day to me in the comments below if you want, and uh, we'll see you next time, eh? Bye. Pete's Tools. Com. Com.